Hi, I'm Felicia Chin. Welcome to El Nido in the Philippines. Every stylish vacation starts off the very minute you check in. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for flying Philippine Airlines. When I landed in Manila Airport, I took a connecting flight and a little uh, boat ride and I reached El Nido Resort. And this place is really paradise. Woo! Philippines is so near Singapore, but really it's like another world of its own. Even when I was on the flight, you know, reaching El Nido, the hills were, were amazing, the greenery, the waters were so blue. And uh, when I reached El Nido Resort, um, the people there are so welcoming. What better way to start off a holiday than to indulge in a spa retreat? So I tried the most popular massage in this resort, which is the Strasscape Signature Massage. It's a combination between Shiatsu and Swedish styles of massage, which helps to release tension and muscle aches. Day two is the start of my adventure. So I had a very sumptuous breakfast at uh, the resort and uh, I set off for Antalula Island and I got to try pedal boarding. This is my very first time and I'm very excited about it. So let's go! At first I thought it would be quite difficult, but uh, once I got the hang of it, phew! It's really fun and beautiful! There I went, you know, I was just happily pedal boarding and, and feeling like I can do this the whole day. Yay! I've done it! Very <sighs> as you can see. The winds are very strong, the currents are strong, but I did it! After my lunch, my adventure continued at the Kuduknon Caves. I really wanted to explore the cave because um, I read that, you know, the entrance to the cave is uh, really quite special. There's a small little hole. But upon seeing the entrance, I realised that, hmm, it's really quite small. And I was wondering how I could get in there. There's a technique in uh, how I can get in, so watch me. It was magnificent, you know, it was really high, maybe about 20 to 30 meters high. What interests me the most is actually the history behind the caves. My guide Elgin mentioned about World War II where Filipino soldiers actually hid in the caves. And um, also, you know, pottery and relics uh, were found inside, dating all the way back to the Song Dynasty. To end off day two of adventures, uh, I went for a sunset cruise. To witness a sunset, sometimes I really feel very touched because to be so near to nature and being surrounded by all the greenery and the blue waters, you know, I just feel very lucky and fortunate to be witnessing such a sight. After that, I went back for dinner. It was a very good dinner and I also witnessed a performance by the dancers from the resort and I even participated in one, um, in a dance called uh, Tinny Clean Dance. I had a great time and uh, it really ended off the whole day with a lot of laughter, smiles, a full stomach and a contented heart. Day 3 was uh, another day out on the beautiful shores of El Nido. I certainly felt that uh, Minilong Island lives up to its reputation for snorkeling. Uh, for a start, I started off with a fish feeding. After that, I went snorkeling. To me, snorkeling at Minilok was very special because um, it's really something very suitable for young and old. <laughs> I like to do that when I'm diving or snorkeling. I like, ooh, 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 ooh. Basically, what I'm saying is like, oh, there's a cute fish, like, hello, 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 fishy. So um, I'm that kind of person, uh, <laughs> a very noisy person when snorkeling. But uh, what I'm just trying to make some conversations with um, the fishes. Well, I wanted to visit the big and small lagoon because I heard that they were beautiful. 
So the first stop was actually the Big Lagoon. I loved it that the limestone structures were huge and majestic and uh, I just felt very at peace. And after that, I headed on to the small lagoon. That's where I went kayaking. The small lagoon is pretty special because there's like kind of like a, a small entrance to, um, to the inside. The small lagoon had smaller structures, but nonetheless, still very beautiful. Simply breathtaking. So majestic. The waters are clear. I even got to see some baby jellyfishes. I think I'll miss El Nido a lot because um, before coming to El Nido, I felt that you know there's so much to explore. I heard that the people are warm, the, the hills are beautiful, the waters are clear. Leaving El Nido, I feel it's so much more. I love that they take pride in their ecosystem. You know, they make efforts in making the, all of us feel so much at home. And um, I think I'll come back to El Nido again and to experience this and also to recommend it to my friends as well. So I'll miss El Nido! <laughs> yeah. This is only the start of my adventure here in paradise in the Philippines. Catch me on the next episode of Style by Style as I share with you more of my fabulous holiday.